Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV. Another quick game of interplanetary ice bike going on here. Back on Mars, back in Gale Crater, and we're looking at this Gigapan by Neville Thompson, cracking job again by him, of Sol or Mars Science Laboratory 962 MSL 962. That would be day 962 that the Science Laboratory, the Mars Science Laboratory, was on the Mars surface, and it's now been up there for five years. And I've been following it since it the day it landed, as many people have around the world, and it's uncovered some very strange and wonderful things on the surface. NASA, of course, just claimed that the, this is all just rocks, and uh, there was never a civilization there, of course, and they blatantly are lying about that. And uh, us researchers around the world have all come to this conclusion. Uh, and you can take it or leave it, really, but uh, basically, would you rather trust civilians who've all come to the same conclusion independently, or would you rather trust uh, a military organisation who were set up initially by Nazis from World War II and are largely Freemasons and secretive, strange practices that, that they do, on even on the moon and stuff like that, you know? Um, they are a, a strange bunch, uh, the, some of the people at NASA. Not all of them are bad people. A lot of them are good scientists, and a lot of them do contact people like me and say, keep up your work, you're very close to the mark. Uh, there was life on Mars, uh, we're just not allowed to tell you, okay? They, that's what they say in private. In public, they won't say that, of course, because they have their hands tied by the military and will probably end up the wrong end of a car crash if they tell the truth. But lots of whistleblowers have come out recently, uh, many of them have, and have confirmed that there was a civilization on Mars. Amongst those whistleblowers are some people that are probably deliberately inputting misinformation and disinformation to throw people off the scent. So it is a bit of a minefield, but I digress, let's carry on. We have this image from Devil T here, and it's, this is great. Uh, I really recommend you look at this. It's absolutely wonderful. You've got the whole of, you've got Mount Sharp up there, uh, not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, you've got this long ridge line here. You've got loads of interesting, mostly rocks here, of course. Um, I'm not going to go through all these now because it'll be here all day. There's loads of little things in here, well worth a look. And being a PDS Gigapan uh, from this page, which I'll have links to, these are of superior quality to your usual Gigapans or usual. Mars images, okay, of the surface. These are good, well worth looking at. And we have this thing, okay, very odd indeed. And I, I looked at this and thought, it, it's just very, very strange. And it looks like another gargoyle um, with a kind of mouth here and another mouth here and sort of two big ears or ear like shapes and an eye here and a sort of long nose here, very odd indeed. I could be way off the mark here, but this may well be a broken statue, as many of them are. Some of them are split, some of them are smashed, some are in in, in sort of small pieces, some are in large pieces. Um, but basically, there are many statues on the surface of Mars, as I and many other researchers have found. And if you don't believe me, and you're new to this channel, simply check out this video. There will be a link to this at the end of the video, so you can click straight to it. This is Gods of Mars Part 2, Martian Statue Art Collection. This is something I did a, while, a few months ago and has most of my recent statues that I found here as well as a few others that other people have found. This is one of my favourites here. I'm just going to play a little bit of this if it will let me. Is it going to play? Yeah, here we go. This is great. I mean, this was actually sent in to, to me by one of my subscribers uh, who found it and said, check this out. And I was absolutely amazed. This is just great. So clear. And broken again. This was obviously much larger, part of a larger structure. And looks like part of a plaque or statue. Human-like features. Not all of them have human-like features. Some of them look insectoid or kind of like grey aliens. There's this one here. This is one of my favourites. Um, this is the one I sent into Ancient Aliens and they got me on the show to talk about it and stuff like that. On, de on the show Destination Mars they showed this. Uh, this is one of my favourite images of all time from anywhere. 
Uh, it really is astonishing. Absolutely astonishing image. And uh, when I found this, I knew this was it. If there were statues like this there, there must be others, and many of them look almost like some of the statues we have on Earth uh, in places like Mexico and South America and also in Egypt. We have this thing here. Uh, this is the giant sphinx. This is approximately 225 feet long, I think, uh, making it the same size as the one in Egypt, in Cairo. It may not be that size, but that's an estimation. It's approximately around 200 feet long and can be seen from many angles uh, in many, many images taken over many years now. Um, you can see it from the distance, you can see it from the front, you can see it from the side. Uh, this is, was the, the closest we ever got to it um, because this is in the, uh, the valley, sort of lake area below Mount Sharp. Uh, and there we have it. What, what can I say? But it's a sphinx, a giant sphinx. This is a long way off. This is, a, this is about a mile and a half away from the rover. So it's a long way off. So it's a bit blurry, but it's there. Just because it's blurred doesn't mean it's not real. That's also uh, one of my favourite finds. I won't go through all of these now because you can look at these yourself. But I'll just show you a few, just for those of you who think I'm making this up. <laughs> there was this also, which was a, this is a tiny little statue. Uh, literally only a few inches from, from chin to the top there. I'll just play a little bit of that. Just give you a little taster. So the link to this video will be at the end of the, the one I'm currently showing you now. So you can just click on it right at the end and you can look through those. I will be doing another uh, video like that, uh, Golds of Mars Part 3 probably, but I'm, probably, I'm going to wait till there's a few more. It may take a, another six months. I may do it at the end of the year. I may do it early next year. But there will be a, a, a part three with all of the ones so far. Because I did miss out a few. And there are some new ones that uh, have been uncovered recently. Okay. So there we have it. I mean, uh, let me just show you the folder with that in. Uh, let's get the uh, enhanced version of it there. There we go. Strange mouth-like structure, another one here, and what looks like an eye with a pupil just there, and a, and a sort of strange long nose, which is completely kind of flat. Is this part of it? Probably. It's the same luminosity here, so I think that's joined there, but behind. And another ear-like flat kind of thing sticking out here. Very odd. Really don't know what to make of this. It looks like a gargoyle. Perhaps this was on the building and water came down and ran out of, and kind of flowed out of it like a, a spout coming out of the mouth like gargoyles do. Who knows? I have found other things that look a bit like gargoyles. There's one in here somewhere. There's this one. Oh, that's probably not one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There's this thing, which is also quite ugly looking. That is really one of the scariest things on Mars that I've seen. Um, there's like sphinx-like heads and there's quite funny looking and almost cartoonish looking ones as well. Um, there's all sorts here. I mean, this this was one that looks like a gargoyle. Now gargoyles often would have a, a, a double or triple face where they would have one face facing you and another one facing the other way and another one facing the other way. And water would often spout from these when it rained. And they would make a, gar a gargling noise. Uh, but they're also Egyptian looking style statue heads. A lot of these are very small. There's this coffin or sarcophagus here. And there are many, many more. Not all of these were found by, by me. I think this one was found by Billy Carson. Great one, that. <laughs> a little sphinx head. So there does seem to have been a civilization on Mars, and of course, if the modern, if there was a modern civilization on Mars, and it was it blown up in some kind of cataclysm, like uh, maybe a nuclear war, or hit by a meteor, or something like that, um, then the modern buildings would be destroyed, of course, and what would be left would be ancient stone artifacts, like we have in Central America and in Egypt and other places around the world. 
where a lot of a lot of the uh, other buildings have disappeared, but the big you know pyramids and things like that are still there, even though they may have been buried, uh, and and the Sphinx is still there, even though it's probably been, it was buried for on and off for thousands of years and was recarved in the distant past and probably didn't look anything like it does now. The the head on the Sphinx that we see in Egypt is actually way too small and is out of scale with the body. So it was but it would have been a lot bigger and was probably a Vanibis or, or some other uh, shaped had some other animal shaped head on top of it or something. So there we go. I mean, uh, but this is not proof of life on Mars. But when you have lots of evidence uh, like we have here and here and uh, here let's find another one here perhaps although that may be an optical illusion and one that's been really ignored by people a lot which I find quite odd is this one this is just standing in, in the sand, kind of tilting over. And uh, it's even got a sort of mohawk style haircut. Now this is probably a carving that's kind of leaning over, so I straightened it out. It's quite small again. This is probably only about three or four inches high. And when you darken the shadows and add some contrast, that's what you get. I've called in the mohawk for obvious reasons. Uh, so there's lots of these. I won't go through all that now because I'll take way too long. And uh, there was this other one that I found recently, which I did post on Facebook, but I haven't made a video of it. Uh, where is it? This one here. Now, this may also be a case of pareidolia or wishful thinking. But you have this. Uh, here's the basic image. This is from Sol 1450, 1450. And what we're looking at here... Hang on, sorry, that's probably the wrong one. This is the one here. Is a ridge line with a strange looking rock at the top here. It kind of looks pretty grungy in this image. This is a normal JPEG, so it would do. Uh, it's not like a PDS thing we were looking at a minute ago. Here's, uh, here's a clip. A completely raw clip. I've done nothing to that at all. But this may just be a rock sticking out and just happens to have like a face and a nose sticking out. Uh, it may just be one of those ro optical rock illusions, as I call them, and uh, may be nothing to do with art at all. But when you enhance it and clean it up a bit, that's what you get. You've got an eye and a funny nose and a mouth and some sort of weird kind of hat-shaped thing. But this, of course, may be similar. This may be another gargoyle. This may be one that's it could be highly eroded parts of it broken off this may be may have once been part of a building here in the top of a building and it's all kind of collapsed and fallen down but some of these things still seem to be standing and and if like I said before if there was a if there was a nuclear war a massive cataclysm on earth many of the mod modern buildings would just be flattened and what you would have still left would be the Sphinx probably and the, the Great Pyramids some of these ancient structures, the stone structures that have a low center of gravity and they're made from hard stone would probably survive. Not necessarily fully intact, but there would be enough of them left to determine that there was once a civilization. So, <clears throat> is this another case of pareidolia? Could be. Not really sure about that one. This is why I was reluctant to make a video from it. Uh, here's the raw image and the enhancement together so you can see that there is not a lot done to it there from Sol 1450 um, so I'll put links to that as well and uh, there is actually a really good uh, gigapan of that which I think Neville T has just done uh, of 1450 so I'll put that in the links below as well so check those out so that would be it for now. I think we've gone, gone on long enough. I'll, I'll just quickly show you them again. Uh, just one of those clips. I just think this is really odd and it's one of the weirdest uh, things I've seen uh, as, as statues go, but it could well be a gargoyle. And uh, there are others.
Very odd. Long nose, eye, mouth, ear type structures. I mean, weird. Just weird. And uh, there seems to be another mouth like structure there, which is very odd. Don't know. But I, I could be way off the mark, like I said. I'm not saying all these things are literally written in stone, pardon the pun. Uh, we're not all right all the time. Can't possibly be. This may just be a rock. And uh, there are loads and loads of other just rocks around it, but that doesn't mean this one is. And if you look at it in context with the other rocks around it, it's very different. Look at how, look at the pitting and the, and 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 the general kind of texture of these other rocks in the in the area, and they're much rougher and uh, more randomly shaped. And uh, some of these may even be bits of um, fossilized coral remains or something like that, and petrified wood. And this kind of is a completely different colour to all the others. T a totally different luminosity, it's much brighter, more reflective. And it's just kind of stood there, and it really doesn't look like it is part of the landscape, a normal rock at all. It doesn't look like that, it looks foreign to these. And uh, you've got some of the larger rocks up here which are also very random looking and much darker, even though they're in shadow, but they are much darker and more sort of rough shaped. Whereas this thing is kind of, it has some kind of weird sort of symmetry to it when you've got these kind of things here. It really is strange. So answers on the postcard as usual, guys. Is it uh, another statue or gargoyle head? Is it just a rock? Why does it look so different from all the other things around it? It really does. I mean, I mean, even when you zoom right back, you can see that that looks totally different in, in, in luminosity and shape to all the other things nearby. I'm sure there are probably more in here, but I haven't really looked properly through this yet. Uh, I've, I've kind of scanned most of the lower areas, but there may be a lot more in there. So, well worth a look. So, follow the links down below if you want to check it out. Check out the video at the end. Click on the link to watch Gods, Gods of Mars Part 2 if you haven't seen it already. Thank you to all my subscribers, uh, young, old, male and female. And uh, please give the thumbs up and share on social media if you can. I'll see you soon.